Hello, everyone. So today I would like to shortly introduce you and show you how to set up the new Testo 557S digital manifold. Um, and in this case, I will show the smart vacuum kit. Um, this includes the new Testo 557S, then two wireless temperature probes, Testo 115i, and um, the new wireless um, Testo 552i vacuum smart probe. So let's start. Open the case. Okay, so what is in is on the left side, we have um, the quick start guides for the instrument and the probes. Um, we don't need them now. Um, and then we have the calibration certificates where we can see how the instruments were checked in production, that they keep their measurement accuracy. Um, and then on the right hand side, we have the device and the probes. Um, what, what we can see is that the, the case has a new structure so that every probe has its place. And at the same time, you can let the hoses on the device and, um, and um, still have them in the case around the device. So there's enough place now to also put the device here in with the hoses. Let's have a look at the device. away. Um, so the device itself, it has nearly the same, um, the same compactness as the old 550. Um, it even feels a little more compact, very robust still. And the only thing that needs to be done um, to, to get it into work is remove this strap, um, which is keeping the batteries from, from contacting. And then you can see the device directly switches on. Um, and if we have a look to the menu that is offered, we can see that there you have a language selection. So in this case, we select the English US. Um, and the, the next um, screen we can see is the a QR code, which we can scan to actually download directly the new Testo Smart App. Let's do that. So. We just scan it, then a link opens. This link takes you to the country specific um, app store. Um, and then you can download it. We already did this. Um, and then you're also ready to, to, to get started on the app side. We will show this later. Um, regarding the device, we are then already ready to go. Just press, press start again. And then you are actually in the main screen. Um, this main screen, as we can see, we have a lot more space on the screen. Um, takes you to superheat subcooling view. Um, we have here the pressures, low pressure side, high pressure side. We have an analog graph showing the actual pressure reading, which is um, refrigerant specific. Um, we can select here the refrigerant. Let's take R22. Um, and then we have evaporation, condensation temperatures, and what for sure we need for a measurement are the temperature probes. Um, as I said before, the temperature probes are wireless, and it's the 115i, so remove this. Um, then again, we have on the back side the, the bed of the strap, we just pull it out. The LED directly starts to blink, meaning the probe is on. Um, and showing in green, it's already connecting to the instrument and already connected. Um, so also here you can see on the screen, cool feature. Um, the screen changes basically when there's no probe connected. It shows uh, only pressures and temperatures, uh, the free vertical temperatures. And if it's connected, it shows all values that are needed. So let's connect the other probe, same thing. Put them here, and we can see here it connects. Now it's connected. Now we would be already ready to do our actual measurement. Um, we won't do that now, but we will navigate um, via this key to the measuring mode and to the evacuation measurement. In the evacuation measurement, you have with this instrument now also the possibility 
to set target lines, evacuation target and a maximum decay target. We will keep it as it is now. Um, and then you get into the menu where normally a graph can be seen. And what is needed for this menu is that you, we connect the 552i micron gauge to it. So let's again take away the strap. For this we have to open the battery compartment. Bring it back in again. And then we can see how directly also this probe starts to, to power on and starts to connect. Now it's green, it's connected. Uh, we can see it also here in the screen. The 552i is connected, reading micron. Um, and we would now be ready to do the vacuum measurement. Again, we don't do this now, but we go back to the Super 8 subcooling menu. We can see the probes, the temperature probes are still connected. The instrument is ready to do reading. And what we want to show in this case is how the instrument connects with the app. So we have, we opened the app now um, and then the app will directly search for this instrument connected. And as you can see here, we have all the readings mirrored from the device to the app. Um, we have, um, we can then start a measurement. Um, we can see graph, we can say, see the table view, the readings. Uh, we can stop this measurement, save it. So measurements can now be saved within the app. Um, and for sure, from there they can be exported and shared via email, via PDF or CSV or whatever. So this is in general it about this new instrument, how to set it up, how to get it running. And I hope you enjoy working with this new instrument.